Hello everyone, today I'm gonna be unboxing the new version of Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer. Three months ago, Bamboo Lab issued a recall for all A1 printers due to a small percentage experiencing electrical issues with the uh, heat bed cable. So they offered early buyers two options. One is to return the printer and get refund and receive a discount voucher or get a free replacement part for the affected cable. So since they announced the recall, they asked their customers to stop using the A1 printers until the issue is resolved. So that was the recall it's all about. Luckily, I'm not one of the early buyer and now that they fixed the issue, I ordered one for myself. I already have the A1 mini printer since it came out and it performed well for me. The only downside for A1 mini is I can't print bigger models from Maker World. So that's the reason I bought this A1 printer. I already have the AMS Lite, so I can transfer it to uh, this printer. So let's go ahead and continue the unboxing. So here is your external spool holder if you don't want to use your AMS Lite and want to keep it simple and print a one color model. You don't even need a screw to attach it. Here's your power cord, purge wiper. Here's your filament swatches and I got the same from my A1 mini. This is your toolbox and inside the box you have your grease. Here's your lubricant, the screws for your build plate, nozzle wiper, cable organizer, supportive foot pad, unclogging pin, two allen keys H2 and uh, H1.5, spare filament cutters. Now let's go ahead and take out the frame out of the box. As you can see, it is securely packed with zip ties and uh, styrofoams. Let's take out the base out of the box. Take out those foams. And the last two pieces in the box is the extra white filament and uh, PTFE, PTFE filament tubings. The upgraded heat bed cable features Kevlar reinforcement, thicker insulation, softer copper, optimized wire winding interval, nylon sleeving and unextended strain relief. Now let's open the Y-axis rail cover. Now let's get the zip tie and cardboard wrap around the tool head and X-axis. Total of 7 zip ties and 2 foam paddings from the printer frame. Next, let's flip the base housing 90 degrees to the side opposite to the screen. Use Allen key H2 to remove the four highlighted screws at the bottom of the base housing to unlock the heat bed. Next, let's tilt the screen to get it out of the way. Now let's put in the base housing, tilt the base housing about 45 degrees to pass through the printer frame. Use the screen as the indicator for orientation. Next, let's open the Y-axis rail cover. And now let's install 10 base housing screws in the holes highlighted in green. 10 on the other side and 2 in the opposite side. Now let's push the heat bed to the other end and install the other two screws. During the transportation, manufacturer only use a small amount of lubricant to avoid dripping during the delivery. So, so it is recommended applying an appropriate amount of lubricating oil to the Y-axis guide rails after unboxing. After applying all the lubricant and screws, just slide the heat bed to the front and install the Y-axis rail cover back into place and make sure to align the clip. Next, let's turn the printer 90 degrees onto its rear, laying it on the edge of the table so we can easily install the cable box to the bottom. 
let's go ahead and install the cable box and make sure to align two clips with the holes in the base housing ensure that the cable box is intact and aligned with the slots then tighten the pre-installed screws next let's plug in these three connectors according to their colors After connecting all three cables, insert the cable with the yellow label into the cable slot, then close the cable box cover. Now let's position the printer upright and tilt the screen back to face in front. Next, let's install the purge wiper. Slide the purge wiper unit into slot at the end of the X axis from back to front. Use purge wiper screw provided from the accessory box to secure it in place. Now let's plug the power cable and let's turn it on for the first time. From the welcome screen, tap the start button, select your language, select your region, select your Wi-Fi network, type your password, and press connect. To bind your printer to your Bamboo Handy app, install the app, then using the Bamboo Handy, tap the plus icon and scan the QR code from the screen. This will connect your account and enables your print and enables you to print from your phone directly. Now let's place the uh, heat bed and press start to start calibration. The initial calibration process will take almost 30 minutes and that involves motor noise cancellation, vibration compensation, and auto bed leveling. After all the calibration process, if you get a firmware update prompt, just press update to make sure you are using the updated version of the firmware. Next, let's install the spool holder. Screw the support shaft into the main body of the spool holder. Attach the spool holder to the cross beam of the frame with the side featuring the Bamboo Lab logo facing forward. Next, use the provided PTFE tube to connect the filament inlet of any tool head. The filament will be fed through this PTFE tube. Use the cable organizer and insert the black cable into the small hole of the organizer and insert the PTFE tube into any of the larger holes. Now we are ready to print our test model from the SD card which is already pre-inserted to the printer. Let's browse the files to be printed and of course let's choose the Benchy for our first print test model. You can also enable a time lapse to record your printer from start to finish and it will be saved automatically to your micro SD card. The Benchy model has completed printing and for a first print, it looks good to me but uh, there's a bit of stringing but it's not really a big deal because uh, this can be easily removed by using a heat gun. For the screen plastic uh, cover, I won't be removing it because uh, I'm gonna be keeping it as my screen protector. I tried another model which is the cable ties from Maker World and unfortunately some of the uh, models didn't stick well on the bed. Thankfully there's an skip feature in Bamboo Handy app. To skip this model and just continue on the rest of the models. And just like the A1 mini printer, this printer comes with a light and camera that can record video time lapses for your model. So first impression, this printer strikes a balance between speed, quality, and affordability. It's a reliable workhorse for beginners and experienced makers. 
If you're interested in multicolor printing, the optional AMS light makes it an attractive choice. The A1's build quality stands out and its performance aligns well with its price point. Keep in mind that while it's fast, achieving the maximum speed might require fine tuning and experimentation. Overall, the uh, Bamboo Lab A1 is a delightful addition to any maker's workshop. Whether you're creating functional parts, artistic sculptures, or intricate models, this printer has you covered. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next one.